wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to a brand new magical unboxing. That's right, so today we're going to be unboxing March's JK Rowling's Wizarding World box by Loot Crate and I will say that they shipped it on time this month so they deserve a gold star. And this box is pretty heavy so I'm really intrigued to see what is inside this month. Before we get started though, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's get on with it because I'm excited to see what's in this month hopefully we will get more than four items but who knows okay so the box is definitely bigger than last month's which is very promising and we have a really nice sticker on this month's box actually I've seen this design before on some t-shirts and it's definitely a favorite so I have my trusty scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead and sadly destroy the sticker I really wish that they would start including them in the boxes so that we could like keep them so let's have an initial first look Okay, let's talk about the box first then. So as you can see, it is a very nice landscape of Hogwarts at night and there's the moon, there is stars and it's a very nice silhouette of Hogwarts. I like it. So we're gonna start off with the thing that is on top, which is normally the t-shirt. Okay, so what is this month's t-shirt? I'm gonna shut the box so that I avoid spoilers for myself. So it's a gray t-shirt. I'm gonna show you guys first. And you know what? This is actually really lovely. This is so wearable. I love the monochrome. Again, their t-shirts are also fabulous quality. This is probably one of my favorite t-shirts that we may have got inside of these Loot Crate boxes. I would definitely wear this on like a day-to-day -day basis. I would wear it out. I love the simplicity of it. I love that it says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry there. That's a really nice shirt and it's a Loot Crate exclusive. So yeah, great start to the box. I am very pleased with that. So let's see what other things are in here and how many things that we have left. But no, actually I'm just gonna do a lucky dip. Okay, I can feel something square. So this is what is next. This is a set of four notebooks, which is very nice. And I believe that they're house themed. Uh, no, they are not. I just lied to you. I just lied. Let's open these on up and have a bit of a closer look. Okay, so I'm just gonna take its little sleeve off. Ooh, you guys know that I'm gonna love this because I have got a flying key tattoo. So we have a flying key notebook in actually one of my favorite colors. So I'm definitely gonna get use out of this. That is gorgeous. And then we have a blue one with um, some astronomy patterns on there. And it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Nearly read it wrong there, but that's nice. Aww, we've got one that says always and it's got Snape and Lily on there. I don't know if you can see, but that's a really nice little detail. That's really cute. And the last one is just a standard Hogwarts one. It is in Gryffindor colors, but it does have all the emblems for all of the Hogwarts houses dotted on there. That's really nice. I am a big sucker for stationery and notebooks. So this definitely pleases me. This one is my favorite. That's another good product. I feel like Loot Crate are getting their shit together. Okay, let's see what else is in here. <laughs> um, ooh. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm just gonna take this out. I'm not sure how many things are left in here, but I'm sure there are things. So we've got a book. This is the Newt Scamander movie scrapbook. And is this another version of the books that they've made specifically for this book? Ooh, look, have I got this already? I don't think so, but I've definitely got some of the movie scrapbooks already, which do have really cool things like pullouts. This is a map and it shows you where all the Fantastic Beasts are and that's really cool. And let's see what, uh, this is actually a really nice book. I'm not going to lie, but it definitely feels familiar to some other books that I already have. We've got a little uh, luggage tag for Newt Scamander in there. Let's see what other pop out things we have. We have the Jacob page, which has some cards which come out. These are nice. Okay, this is cool. They have characters on one side and some really cool designs on the other side. I am a massive sucker for inserts. It's one of the main reasons that I buy 
the magical books so that I can have the props. I'm just gonna put those down there because I can't get them back in. But there's even like witches live among us, so they have like all the propaganda and stuff that they have in Fantastic Beasts. We've got a page which seem to be stuck together. This is another insert thing. Let's have a look what this does or what is inside. Nice! We've got some prints in there. I actually have a notebook with this on. This is all legit stuff. These are all designed by Mina Lima. These are really, really lovely. I'm a big fan of this product. This is awesome. And on this page, we've got another pullout and it's a transfiguration today, which I'm assuming is some sort of newspaper. Really nice. And there's even a big, there's even something here which you can turn, which is a ministration chart. <laughs> and then on, have we got any other big things? On the back, you've got another map. I've definitely got some of these maps already in some of my books. So I don't know if they've kind of made a smaller version for Loot Crate, but I'm not complaining. It's a really, really lovely book to get inside one of these crates. It's smaller, but it's kind of pretty much what their movie scrapbooks are like. So I love this. In fact, the cover of it is really, really pretty. I'm not sure I can get that off right now, but this cover is really nice. Um, I'm surprised by this. The quality is really great. As I said, I love the things that you get inside these kind of books. They are fantastic for Instagrams. So if you have a magical one like me, I'm always looking for little scraps and bits that you can find from the films. This definitely provides that, especially with the big map pullouts. They are actually really, really cool. So uh, this is a cool item. I'm super duper impressed with this box so far. I'm not sure how many things we have left though. I'm just gonna have a little look. Okay, we have got We've actually got three things left, so we've actually had six items in this box, which is good compared to last month's. This is actually really cute, <laughs> and I really like this, so the quality of it isn't that great. So this is a wizard's welcome sign, muggles tolerated, um, mine's actually completely damaged, which... I'm not too happy about because I did like that. That's damaged. Um, it has a little string thing. You can turn it around and it'll say wizardry at work, no muggles allowed. But this has really obviously been badly glued and it's kind of all, can you see how wrinkly and not well stuck it is? Okay, that's kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie that it's damaged, like some of the sticker isn't there. It's been ripped off. And it's just not particularly well made, but I mean, the idea is cute, but okay, that's the first item out of this box that I'm actually quite disappointed with. Okay, let's move on. We have two things left. Granted, they are very, very small. So the next thing, <laughs> little Gryffindor magnet. Um, is the, uh, does this count as a full item? Oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, it's a magnet. Is it that useful? No. Am I gonna stick it on my fridge? No, probably not, because it's not the best magnet, is it? It's just one of those floppy ones, which feels kind of cheap. So yeah, that's the second item that I'm kind of disappointed with, but the first three items were great. And the last item, is a pin and I have already seen this because I have seen spoilers online by accident. Obviously the Horcrux collection of the pins has now ended and they've started doing other pins and personally I quite like this one. This is a Doe um, Patronus and yeah it's sweet. It's a little gold pin and I think if you didn't know Harry Potter I guess, I mean, its face kind of looks a little bit pig-like. I love the idea. Um, hmm. I'm torn between this one because you guys know how much I love pins and I like the idea of a Patronus pin, but seriously, I'll do a close-up. The face looks like a pig. Um, <laughs> but either way, it's a magical pin. It will go in my collection because how could it not? So let's have a look. That is sadly everything in this box, but we definitely got a few more items. I'm gonna actually say that we got five items in this box because I really don't count that magnet as anything substantial. Let me know how you guys feel about this. And obviously we have the little leaflet, so let's open it on up. This was Enchanting Essentials themed. And here you go. So you would have got a magnet for your own house 
Um, everything is exclusive. Oh, hang on. Everything's exclusive except the Newt's Commander scrapbook. Okay, so it is a remake of some of the books that you can get out there already. I did think that after seeing some of the things in there. So I'm kind of on, if you don't have those books already, great. I don't think I have a Newt's Commander scrapbook, but I've definitely got some of the movie ones with some of those inserts already. If you don't have them already, I think it's a great product. But as a Harry Potter and Wizarding World fan, and Fantastic Beasts fan, you're most likely to have some of that stuff already, so I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out to put it in these boxes as we want new things, I don't know. Either way, everything's exclusive besides that scrapbook. Um, this confirms it. I will read out this sheet as per usual. So, the Hogwarts Crest t-shirt, every good witch or wizard needs some casual weekend attire. This Hogwarts Crest tee is the perfect wearable for spending a day in Hogsmeade or just kicking back in your common room. It is, I really did like the t-shirt. It's definitely a great item. Number two is the Newt Scamander scrapbook. Learn more about the life and adventures of famed author Newt Scamander in his scrapbook from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, filled with fun pull-out artifacts and other explorables. Again, it is a great item but you're most likely to have all of that information and most of the pullouts in some of the other books if you collect things like that, like I do. Number three is the four pack wizarding journals for jotting down notes on magical creatures or remembering a particularly tricky incantation. A wizarding journal is a must. This set includes four, each with a unique cover design. I definitely loved those. I have nothing bad to say about them. I loved all of the designs. It's cool that there are four. They're a really great size. I love stationery. So moving on. The double-sided wizardry sign. This dual-sided sign is perfect for letting the muggles in your life know when you want visitors or need to buckle down and study for your owls. I personally liked the idea of that item. We've spoke about it already, but it's kind of cheap. It's badly done and mine is damaged, so I don't have much good things to say about that. My camera cut off. So the Hogwarts House magnet. This magnet featuring your Hogwarts house crest is ideal for showing off your house pride or for leaving a reminder on the fridge to pick up some more chocolate frogs. I mean, it's just like a pop out magnet. That nah. No, I don't give that points. No house points for that. And then the Patronus lapel pin. So I was right, it was the Patronus. We're taking a break from our Horcrux pin series, okay, interesting, to offer you this essential protective charm. The doe Patronus shared by Lily Potter and Severus Snape. I do like the pin, but the face looks like a pig. There's no denying it. So everything is explained in your little leaflet. And that is it, okay. Final thoughts on this box. My final thoughts are they definitely had more items than last month, um, which is great because uh, let's be real, everyone felt really short changed last month. And I will note that their website said, I think five to seven items, which I showed in my last Loot Crate unboxing and they've now sneakily changed it to four to six, which I'm not sure is that legal if I'm being honest, if you subscribe to something and the description then changes, it's a little bit dodgy, I'm not going to lie. But this month's box, t-shirt, fantastic, the notebooks were great, the book is nice if you don't have things like that already, it's definitely great quality. The sign and the magnet were majorly disappointing, but the pin was nice, they tried. So overall, it was a good box, I think. It wasn't an amazing box, but it was definitely a good box. And there was things in there that I truly did really like. My favorite thing from this month's box is actually probably the t-shirt. That really did please me. And then the notebooks, the book was nice. Everything else was a bit eh not bothered. So I really did enjoy unboxing this. It's always exciting to see what new things that they come up with, their new ideas, whether they're good things or bad things. You're going to get the honesty from this channel. They are not sponsored and everything in these boxes I've paid for with my own coins or my own galleons and sickles and canuts. So yes, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your comments on this month's box. Was it an improvement from last month's? Is it something that you're subscribing too soon or maybe even unsubscribing? I know a lot of you did last time. Either way, I would love your comments on everything down below because 
it's just fun to hear other people's opinions on this kind of stuff. I will see you guys next time and thank you guys for watching. Bye!